Greetings, Twin Flames. This is Lucida of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here on Friday, November 10th, 2017, for some daily inspiration for your Twin Flame journey. So today is Friday, great day, November 11th month, so an 11, 10th, 10th day, so that's a 1. If you add 2017 numbers together, you get a 10, which reduces to a 1. So today we have a 11-11 day, as well as tomorrow, which is the 11-11 portal, which is what we've all been waiting for. This is an energetic time period where you and your beloved, if you desire an intense walk through that portal, will be raised to another level of consciousness. Hopefully, if you intend that you walk through the portal together, your level of consciousness will be the same as you walk through the other side or when you get to the other side of it. So I thought today I would do this tarot spread and actually my recording got cut off uh, twice already so I have the cards laid out and I haven't really looked at them yet. I do want to thank you for joining, for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to this channel if you haven't already do so. I try to put good content out every day to inspire Twin Flames to keep moving along on this path. I've been a psychic and intuitive all my life and um, started working online about 10 years ago, 50, actually about 20 years ago, um, but then for like about seven years I didn't do any readings, um, but then when I had my near-death experience and awoke in 2012, I started to have experiences with angels then. and. Um, became more of a medium and then met my twin last year in 2016 and he opened up like this brand new world for me and got me motivated we started this channel it's it's a year ago tomorrow so hopefully he and i will have an anniversary portal video for you that's our plan which brings me to this positive affirmation about communication we easily fit into every area of life we are excellent communicators in all situations i can't express how at this time in your journey if you want to elevate your connection you need to be able to fully be honest and express yourself in your connection that's something my beloved and i have been working to do and Finally, I feel that, you know, he's been honest with me a little bit about things. And um, basically, you know, communication is how you build trust and trust is what's necessary for continuing on this journey and in this connection. All right. So I want to thank those that have followed me on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Thank you to those that come to me in private sessions. I've got two links below where you could find me on a day-to-day -day basis. I've got that video reading option. And also I have a new Etsy um, piece where I channel your beloved's higher self and send you a message from them. So if you're interested in that, that rate will be available until the end of this year. All right, let's get started. I do have the Divine Feminine Energy cards in the recent past, present, and future the masculines and then the union energy spread out here i'm excited to talk about these cards i i did see these through or two and then the i haven't seen these yet okay so the recent past energy for the divine feminine is the moon so this shows the divine feminine has been very emotional been working through some emotions since that full moon in Taurus, which really brought up a lot of things for feminines and masculines as well to work through, to reason with, to maybe purge. Maybe you've had some sleepless nights or tears, but that's in the recent past. Presently, you're more emotionally balanced with temperance showing up. You're working on balancing out your divine masculine and feminine aspects if you are the feminine twin in this dynamic. And in the near future, you're going to be the fool, ready to jump in head first, ready to take the leap of faith with your beloved, ready to transform, ready to go wherever this journey takes you next. That was the Divine Feminine's energy surrounding the portal. So after the portal, the Divine Feminine is going to be really raring to go and ready to go wherever it is that she or he is called. All right, I have the Divine Masculine's recent past energy, Nine of Cups, feeling wishes were granted, feeling very abundant and happy. Nine of Cups is a great energy to be in, so just being grateful for everything that they have in this world and have achieved and accomplished and the love that's in their life and 
if you're the divine feminine wanting to know about the divine masculine that they are grateful for even knowing you encountering you or that you are in their plane or in their that you're connected to them at the soul level basically so if you're in a 5d connection since this is a general reading for all twins only take what resonates for you the divine masculine is feeling that positive and soul connection with the divine feminine presently they're the knight of pentacles so they are slow and steady they are the knight that's the most dependable of all so even if the divine masculine is slow in getting to their destination they are determined to get there meaning that they're still on the journey they're still waking up they're still making progress they're still moving toward the divine femi feminine they feel that they are persistent persevering patient understanding kind all of those things now i'm looking at this energy here and it's giving me give me lots to think about and lots to say to you the five of cups is the near future energy so i feel that this is a little bit of how the divine masculine will feel as they move through the portal so these energies of this portal are going to be taking away things from the divine masculine that no longer serve them the five means change this is in the area of love with the cups you can see the divine masculine trying to grasp for one of the cups two of them are hanging in the balance two are taken away possibly by the karmic partner karmic pattern karmic situation that the divine masculine will be leaving behind Okay, so they are going to leave something behind that is very important to them, or they thought was very important to them. But leaving this behind is what's going to be able to um, propel them forward across that portal. I'm going to pull another clarifier from the deck here, just to kind of clarify how they're going to feel maybe a week out after that change is made because of the portal. Well... They're going to feel like the Queen of Cups. So they're going to lose something, but they're going to gain something. And they're going to have more to give to their Divine Feminine. They're going to get more in their feminine energy as well. So they're going to be able to communicate more. They're going to be able to come, be more compassionate, be more loving, be more caring. Those are all things that the Divine Masculine needs to be able to do in order to be in this union. So those are good energies. Those are energies that support, that change is going to support them being in a relationship with their beloved in the 3D. All right, union energies. Recent past, we have the Knight of Wands. So the very fiery, passionate knight moving toward their destination, both twins in that energy in the recent past. Wow, passion, that's great. Fire, we're flames. Of course we're on fire. Present, Ace of Cups energy, wow abundance of love love overflowing from this cup we feel like we have it all both twins do this is also signifying a new beginning in love beautiful so this portal is giving us that new beginning in love interestingly the union is going to undergo some changes through this portal in the in the near future we have some competition we have some head over heart battling going on with the five. This is about our passions, our convictions, our feelings about matters, what we want to do. There might be a little resistance after the portal, but this is going to be something we settle into. And that's as a union. And that could be because of this five of cups energy as well. But these are two big changes as we move through the portal. So just picking a card to clarify. How will the union be after the changes are made? Well, there'll be a little bit of hermiting going on with the nine here, the major arcana card, but this is a good thing. This is the two twins coming together and understanding their multidimensional selves, their unique nature, their connection, finding more wisdom, maybe being alone together in the 3D, two hermits together. Um, so I feel that that is a really good card there. So you can really rely on big changes happening through this portal. Um, so what you need to do is intend that you and your beloved walk through the portal. And hopefully, if all goes well, um, myself and my beloved will have something special for Twin Flames about the portal tonight or tomorrow morning. So keep a lookout for that. 
I'm going to choose a Archangel Michael message to close out this reading as well as send you some Reiki healing energy. So don't go anywhere. All right. Archangel Michael says to be gentle with yourself during this portal. Archangel Michael, please guide us in treating ourselves with gentle, nurturing love in everything we speak, think, and do. Help us know that we deserve this compassion. At this time, we release any feelings of guilt to you so that we may walk through this portal and experience a lasting inner peace as a result. Okay, so at this time, I'm sending you some Reiki healing to bring inner peace to yourself, to bring you and your beloved the courage to join hands, to connect with each other in all time, spaces, and dimensions, and to move through this portal together so that the two of you may, on the other side of the portal, be on the same page, harmonically resonating at the same exact frequency, and being in your perfect divine union. Many blessings to you. Namaste.